If you struggle with a club face opening in the backswing, pay close attention to what your right palm is doing in the backswing and how that affects the orientation of the club face. One of the biggest things we do see with a lot of golfers that struggle with a lot of loft impact, they turn 7 iron into a 9 iron, is when we want the club back, the right palm goes too much towards the sky. So right palm orientates itself too much towards the sky, causes the club face to open too abruptly in the backswing. Then as we come into impact, because the club face open in the backswing, we are going to have to create a series of compensations to try and get the club face back in a slightly more closed position, which is going to enable us to prevent that ball going out to the right. We see a couple of issues. Because the club face is open in the backswing, we're going to see the head fall back impact in order to try and close that club face. Your weight stays on your right side, club head hits the ground, club head is going to reach its lowest point, where before the golf ball we see a lot of fins, tops and a whole host of different impact positions. I get to address the grip end, the club's point towards my belt buckle. One of the biggest things we do see in order to compensate to try and get the club face back in position, you start to see the grip end of the club fall back towards your right hip. Head overtakes the hands and we add a lot of loft. Not very good for the ego and not very good for trying to create any compression. If you're this golfer, simple drill, it's called the hell drill. Place your right hand on the right hand side of the golf club as we swing the club back, trying to allow the right palm to feel it keeps its connection with the right hand side of the grip and golf club. Swing the club back, right palm to almost feel like it faces the ground a little bit longer into the back swing. That is an exaggerated feeling, which is going to help us prevent the club face getting too open. So if you get the club face too open, right palm goes towards the sky. Think about right hand swings only, try and get the right palm to face the ground a little bit longer. You can create a different draw, place your right hand down, the right hand side of the golf club, put the club back, try and get your right palm to feel like it faces the ground a fraction of a second longer. Because the club face is a little bit more closed in the back swing, golf ball right hand down, the right hand side of the golf club, swing the club back, Try and keep the right palm facing the ground a little bit longer, check the position of the club face. If the club face is too open, the right palm goes towards the sky. Keep your right palm facing the ground a fraction of a second longer. Then as we come into impact, so get the club face in order first, then your impact will change. So from there, club face a little bit more close, go back. As we come into impact, a great feeling is going to help us generate a little bit more success. Pencil grip drill. If we release the club too early, grip end of the club is going to fall and points towards the right hip. You see from where club head overtakes the hands. We're going to try and get our left hand past the golf ball at impact. So pencil grip drill, two fingers of your right hand, thumb on the bottom of the grip. From here, we're not letting the angle spill out too early. Think about trying to get your left hand past the golf ball at impact. What's changed? The grip end of the club's went from pointing towards my belt buckle and address to pointing towards the left hip impact, my weight start transferring to my left side. The knees move close to my left knee, all my weight's into my left side, and the grip end of the club is pointing in conjunction with my left hip. My left hand is past the golf ball, all my weight's into my left side. I feel like my left shoulder stays a little bit lower and all my weight is moving into my left side. So if you struggle with your iron play, right palm faces the sky a little bit too early, then as we come into impact, right palm still faces the sky. In order to prevent that occurring anytime soon, Try and get right palm to face the ground a fraction of a second longer. Then as we come into impact, we're going to try and get our weight to transfer a little bit more into the left side. So two feelings that's going to help us install it. Feel like your right knee moves closer to your left knee. So right knee is going to move closer to left knee. And then from there, you're going to try and get your left hand past the golf ball. So left hand past the golf ball, recreate that impact position. Hands are always ahead. Leading edge stays down. So feel like I'm keeping the leading edge down a little bit longer. I'm turning the top edge of the club over the leading edge, hands on the head, weights on the left side, and that's gonna improve your impact position in no time.